I'm Doug Campbell and this is Truck Talk 180 where we are flipping the pyramid of power. I watched the Bill Murphy uh, from GATA interview on the SGT report and he's saying that uh, he has a European source that's told him that the gold and silver markets are going to go quote unquote nuts starting in August. Now some of the speculation there was whether that it would have something to do with the, F with the CFTC coming out and saying that JP Morgan is in fact manipulating the silver market which we all know is happening. Uh, after I watched the interview I went and did some digging on the CFTC website and what I found was that within the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform Act they implement position limits of 10 percent. Now that rule of 10 percent may be subject to change. There's still some uh, uh, open comment section and final rules to be made about that position but it looks like it's going to be 10 percent and uh, but more importantly uh, once the SEC and the CFTC come out and define swaps and put those definitions in the Federal Register they uh, the banks have 60 days to get under that 10 percent position limit in all of these 28 different commodities markets which include silver so the announcement from the CFTC and the SEC of the definition of swaps starts the clock ticking they JP Morgan's got 60 days to get un underneath that 10 percent threshold and I believe that is what's going to cause these markets to go nuts now we all know that the purpose of the silver manipulation is to artificially prop up well not really prop up the dollar but make the dollar look a lot better than what it is we all know that with uh, continued quantitative easing and the uh, the fact that nobody else is buying treasury bonds other than the Federal Reserve uh, there's really not much more they can do to make the dollar look better than what it uh, than what it really is so <clears throat> the announcement to look for the, the the public comment section on the CFTC side of the rules is closing July 23rd I believe just a couple of days after that we're going to whenever we see that announcement the CFTC and the SEC jointly coming out and defining swaps that's when we'll see this trigger and the volatility in these markets because that's when the clock starts ticking 60 days for JP Morgan to get underneath the 10% 10 10% position limit now that doesn't mean that other banks these are suicide bankers doesn't mean that they're not going to come in and pick up the slack from JP Morgan but it's going to be a whole lot harder to get all these different banks to uh, to, to go into that market and uh, and in short knowing that it's going to be a losing proposition and they had also mentioned that the nine billion dollar loss uh, from JP Morgan may all have something to do with silver so the Silver Liberation Army by taking delivery and taking the silver off the market may have struck a serious blow to this banking cartel I would suggest if you haven't gotten into silver by now the time of subsidized purchasing of silver is coming to an end and I think that's going to happen when this announcement is made so check for that announcement that should be the trigger when the SEC and the CFTC come out and define swaps that starts the 60 day period before they have to get under the 10 percent position limit this is Doug Campbell with Truck Talk 180 saying crash JP Morgan buy silver bye